Hey what up guys today we are going to be playing right 4 it just got released like just an hour back so this is the fourth installment in the right series it's like a Forza Motorsport for bikes and there's a lot of customization for bikes and these this is one of the first series maybe in the world to get customization for bikes and simulation for bikes it's not more of a simulator but it's up there so let's see how this new game is because uh, as far as I'm concerned Ride 2 was amazing but Ride 3's uh, physics was just a bit messed up for me so let's check this out my controller is not tethering with the PC let's see That was weird. Okay, so this is a 1080p monitor, full HD, so it's locked at 60 hertz. So I'll have to turn on vertical sync to avoid screen tears. Uh, I made a mess of buying my monitor because I did not see uh, what um, refresh rate it had to be because the graphic card that I have is much more capable of you know performance and the monitor cannot keep up with it and that's a huge loss it's it's almost like I don't even have to have such a powerful graphic card but well it's a fuck up what do you know we'll just lock this at um, 60 FPS uh, and let's see how this goes okay engine sound always 100 bro. so my player name uh, I will lock it down to lockdown and my number will always be 92 dude um, nationality Indian Uh, let's go with the typical uh, I think this one is good balance I need to have a more aggressive riding position uh, but this is not necessarily good because the bike leans a lot and spends a lot of time in the corner so um, that's not good uh, right foot um, Breaking leg out, yeah, that's amazing. Breaking fingers too, doesn't matter. Oh god, I know. This is one of the best circuit, Tsukuba is a circuit in Japan. This was introduced to me in uh, Gran Turismo 4. And I used to hate the circuit because it's too small and too quick. And that is annoying. It took a while for me to get used to it. I'm not gonna do any kind of uh, bike setup right now. But the riding aids, um, we are gonna keep it realistic, semi automatic, manual. I don't know if the manual transmission has. Been. Are you serious? Oh, let the ABS be there. Trust help, I don't need that. Uh, yeah, let's keep that automatic. It's very annoying on the controller. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So.
textures i'm not that happy with the texture because right 3 had much better much better texture than this um okay let's just try a time trial i'm going to be doing uh let's see if there's portima uh yeah this track is also an addition to the um uh, 2020 f1 calendar i tried to find this track on many um uh, simulator racing game and this game and the ride uh, series are the only series that have portima in them uh, and maybe project cars 3 but that is a piece of shit uh but yeah uh so let's just try uh portima it's a race track in portugal um we'll try for the fuck of it we'll try the bi- uh bike circuit rather than the car circuit and since i don't have any amazing bikes and i don't want to use the r6 uh let's just uh check out what bikes are there for loan uh this is not really a race bike but it's the it's the h2 i don't know why people are mad about this bike just because it's fast in a straight line and doesn't mean it's a great bike um it's just really big i don't know just because it's supercharged i don't care there's a aha rc 390r don't care about that as a f4 rm it's amazing there's a jixa 750 from 1998 i'm looking for a much faster bike uh okay there's a r1m let's check out the r1m uh all right weather and lighting for the sake of it again let's keep a uh, perfect weather uh, i want to put some la- laps in a realistic simulation abs okay let's just go to the track this is a track in portugal like i said it's an amazing track it's really hard to keep your uh, focus on this track uh it's just up and down and crazy turns all over the place and this straight it just goes down like that and it's like it just catches you off guard if you don't get the braking right okay let's just get into it i love the cross beam uh engine Dude you have got to be kidding me that bike flew off Oh my god you have got to be kidding me
ओके ओके दैट वाज द बेस्ट आई कुड डू माय हैंड्स आर हर्टिंग लाइक क्रेजी डैम दैट वाज अ 147 समथिंग 147 200 i ended up getting a 147 600 and i set fastest sectors in the last lap that i did oh that was very hard the thing is that there's no feel with the bike there's no feel on the controller the controller vibrates with according to the grip of the bike but in this game there's absolutely no feel and that is something that is really important to like you know know where the uh, bike is going and where the grip lies that is very important but that didn't happen here so i'll explore this game more and i will see if i can get used to the uh, completely change uh, riding dynamics of this game and i will come back with more content and check out the different time uh, types of uh, tracks that are available in this game i know that portima was there in this game so i just checked it out uh but let's see i want to try out there, there is magnic course also on this uh, uh game so i want to check that out as well it's another french track uh, french track uh, apart from paul ricard i guess um yeah and circuit de la sarre all of them are french track this is a a portuguese track and yeah it is a part of the 2020 f1 calendar uh, which is why i wanted to check it out first i'll see you guys in the next video hopefully i'll get more bikes in this game by then because i have only 34000 bucks story of my life and Yeah. Bye bye.